Hi everyone, happy Sunday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2024 Fanatics Eminent Autograph 8x10 Photos, 10 box, pick your team, number five, our last case. We've done a ton of these. Thank you very much, everybody. Appreciate you. I think Teddy Jaspie still has some on Instagram. At Jaspie's Breaks is our Instagram handle. We do personal breaks there multiple nights a week. Three, three to four nights a week at this point, something like that. Someday seven nights a week. But for now, he's live right now on a Sunday. And he's got personal box available. That's the only way you can get Eminent tonight. Thanks everybody for the fill. No filler on this, so achievement points for filling a break, no filler. Jason K, Last Bot Mojo, Tigers. You'll all get your uh, filled a break with no filler badge. All right. Now, I do have to change some camera settings here. Stand by. I think we're gonna go autofocus on this. Although the autofocus isn't very good on it. And to change my camera angle a little bit, we need a little more, more headroom. To show you the hits, there it is. Our final case. Originally, this was a reserve for Fanatics Live. I wrote Fanatics Live across the top of it, but now we get to put the YouTube sticker on it. Because Nick Jaspie made the call. Hey, put it. Put this on the YouTube. Originally it was for Fanatics Live tomorrow. All right, here's the case. You can see all the boxes right here. And we'll just pop these open one at a time. I think everyone can still see the boxes, right? They're not going anywhere. Real heavy too, good. The, these like, I don't know what you want to call these, these folios that they put them in, these cases are really cool actually. I feel like if you were, I don't know, if you were an artist or something like that, you could use these as a, uh, as a carrying case for your sketch work, if you're into that sort of thing for you former artists out there. Let's move this over here. Move these top loaders out of the way. Move it here for now. All right, good luck everybody. Got Rambo 3 on the background. Rambo's about to put an arrow into a uh, attack helicopter. Do it, Rambo. I think this is the scene. All right, it's where he's in Afghanistan. First out of the gate, Jordan Walker. Nice autograph. I like the three different pictures right there. I like Jordan Walker, the chains are showing. I think I, I, I think I could be a chain guy. If I was in Major League Baseball, keep that, keep the top button unbuttoned, of course. 10 out of 50. Nice. Oh no, wait, John Rambo's in a tank. Where is that? Maybe that scene was earlier. All right, Cardinals. Ryan Stewart with St. Louis. I would think about being, I considered being like, if I was a major league ball player, maybe growing out the hair, you know, having, having some lettuce fly out from underneath my head. But then, I feel like my, my head gets really warm. I don't know if I could, I don't know if, I'm, if I would deal with that. Probably be chain guy. I think I'd be a uh, dirty helmet guy too. 
I think I'd put a lot of pine tar on that helmet, get that really dirty throughout the season. All right, next one is another Cardinal, Paul Goldschmidt. He's heating up. Ryan with another Redbird. Cardinals, I think, beat the uh, the Phillies earlier tonight. Sunday Night Baseball. 15 out of 99. There's all the authentication stickers right there. Oh, wow. I did not see that, Jonathan. Clemson pulling off a hidden ball trick today at third base versus Coastal Carolina. I got to look for that highlight after this break. Oh, I think, I guess, I guess John Ramble already put a arrow through a helicopter. I guess the final scene was him running a tank into the helicopter. I like that creativity. You know, someone having a, a hidden ball trick gag in the bag, you know? That, that situation doesn't present itself all the time. Very situational, but to remember to, to be able to do that at the right time, right place. All right, next one. Anthony Volpe. Yankees, that's for Eugene. Got the Yankees straight up. Nice, having a real great season. Had like a 20 some odd game hitting streak broken up, but then I think he came back the next day and got another hit. 94 out of 99. I like the, there's like a little can hang uh, you can hang that slab somewhere it's magnetic it's got fanatics branding on the bottom right there pretty weighty too all right another one Oh, we got more Rambo on BBC America? I think this is First Blood. Classic. They drew First Blood. Next up is Adley Rushman. The Rushman. Going to Daisuke and the Baltimore Orioles. Nice. Camera can get a focus on the auto. There we go. It's uh, 98 out of 99. What are we doing with these? Ladies and gentlemen, like when you, this is a pretty decent size, kind of a bulky, I suppose you could take it out of the mag and frame it, like properly frame it. Jonathan, what are you gonna do with it? I think Jonathan got one earlier today. I guess you could put it on like a little picture frame stand, right? You could pop that right there in like a display case. There's that hook there. You can probably we can probably put it on a on a hook, stand it up in the display case. But you're not going to reframe it. I might consider reframing it. Or maybe keep it in the slab. It might get expensive. You keep it in the slab and get the slab framed. That might be a little pricey. Might have to 
be a custom job. Next up, we see Marlins pinstripes. Thought it was another Yankee for a second. This is gonna go to Kyle and the fish. Jazz Chisholm. Twenty-four out of ninety-nine. Another one. Maybe just standing it up. I think it probably works nicely. All right. Next one. Good luck. It is Lane Thomas, Kyle with the Nats. I wonder if you can just stand, could you maybe stand it up this way too? There's some options, options for you guys. Lane Thomas is 51 out of 99. Once that autofocus might be too reflective for the autofocus. There, there it is. Got all the appropriate authentic authentication stickers there. Four more to go. Good luck. Yeah, for, we got first blood, Teddy. The first what, like, what, was Rambo? Yeah, it was Brian. Did. Was what? uh, was first blood first or was no, first uh, blood first? No, or was Ro Rocky first? Oh, Rocky was before. He first did blood. Rocky. Yeah, yeah. All right, and then one of my favorite parts is coming up right here. There's like an old man in town. Look what he says to him. Watch, watch. There's an old man. Morning, Sheriff. Watch. <laughs> These small town sheriffs just jamming up John Rambo. Yeah, he thinks he's the cock of the walking. Take a bath this week? <laughs> <laughs> you, know you, think they, that, you think that was scripted or you think that was a throwaway? Right? I think he threw that in there. He threw that in and they kept it? <laughs> you know where they shot this? Montana. No, uh... Oregon. Right. What do, you, what do you call it, Columbia? Uh, you know, like the Northwest, but not even oh. Washington above. Or, what's the? Oh, British Columbia, yeah. Vancouver. Yeah, already this guy's stereotyping John Rambo. Dang, just he's he's a vet. He's a Vietnam vet. He doesn't want him in this town. Fernando Tatis Jr. and that's an orange. Ed P with the Padres. That should be out of 25. Twenty-three out of twenty-five. Nice. Yeah, already that sheriff doesn't want him in town. Help out John Rambo. Stereotype him right away. He's got long hair. He's wearing an army jacket. You know, I kind of warmed up to those those uh, San Diego City Connect jerseys. Initially, I was like, "What?" Just so used to the uh, 
the mustard and chocolate color, right? But I think that's probably one of the more unique ones that Nike has done, because you've seen some of the other ones. Some of the other ones are just, they don't even try. They're just like, ah, let's just make it kind of dark. <laughs> or, or whatever. All right. Go. Another one here. Good luck. It's Bryce Harper, Phillies, Capola with the fight and fills. Thirty four out of ninety nine. I like the Boston City Connect, so I think they're, they're just like so different. But that color scheme is pretty, is you know connected to to Boston as well. I think they kind of put put some, put some thought into that. Leave John Ramble alone. This cop's got it in, in it for John Ramble already. They drew first blood. want something to eat. Right, the marathon colors, yeah. All right, two more to go. Second to last. We got George Springer, Toronto Blue Jays. Kyle with the Blue Jays. What's this uh, parallel? This is the, oh, this one's to 50, 26 out of 50. Once it focuses, there we go. I like the Blue Jay City Connects. I guess I like the skyline idea that they did, but it's just kind of dark and... Uh... All right. I know, for a second, Grizzlebees, I, I, I kind of tricked myself into thinking, was that like the, that iridescent one of one? No, it's just the gold. All right. Tenth and final one in our last case. Thanks, everybody. Remember, Teddy has uh, personals of these at Jaspie's Breaks on Instagram tonight on Sunday. Check it out. If you want to get one all for yourself, guaranteed. Last one is going to be Zach Wheeler. Another one for the Phillies. Looks like another gold here. I could pop this out. There we go. 36 out of 50. And that goes to Capola. Hey, you're welcome, Grizzlebees. Couple Phillies for you. Couple good ones at that. Zach Wheeler putting together a really nice season this year, too. Maybe some uh, Cy Young level. We'll see how it all plays out this season. Thanks for breaking with me, everybody, especially on a Sunday night. You guys can be doing anything, but I appreciate you hanging out with me. Um, I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.